Hello everybody, my name is Mr. Peter Man, and welcome back to another episode of Life is Strange Before the Storm. We are in the second episode. Still, episode 3 has not been released as of recording this. I am still sick, but we are going to power through this. And without further ado, here we go. Didn't think I'd be back this soon. <coughs> well, here goes nothing. <coughs> oh, we already read this in the Better hurry up and get into the dorms. Uh, I didn't want to be rude. It's just. Let's talk to Steph real quick. Hey, Steph. Whoa. Hey, Chloe. Surprised to see me on parole? I told you Wells was out to get you. That text was a rare courtesy, by the way. I don't normally get involved in other people's dumb decisions. Thanks for trying, but skipping yesterday was totally worth it. Skipping with Rachel Amber does have an appeal. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. So what are you doing here? Uh, I figured I'd see the Tempest. For real? You? Yeah, I know. It's not really my thing. Uh, <laughs> kind of hoping it's a shit show. What the hell? I'm the stage manager. Ah! Oh, I think I knew that. My bad. You better mean it. Honestly, the show's really good. It's worth seeing. I'm sure it is. Obviously, Rachel's fantastic, but everyone else is pretty impressive, too. You get to see a totally different side of everyone, especially the guys. Okay. I'm intrigued. Go on. Like, Hayden's so annoying, but when he puts on that crown, he's actually very princely. And Nathan is Caliban? <laughs> There's so much depth there. Right. Depth. Yeah, well, good luck with all of that. <laughs> Maybe I'll see you later. Oh, hey. I wanted to ask you something. Shoot. I've been planning to make a move on Rachel, but not if you two were together. Make a move? So, are you? Uh... I mean, that's Rachel's business. Or maybe yours and Rachel's business. But if you feel comfortable telling me... I'm... Uh, I, I don't know. It's... It's... Confusing. <laughs> yeah, I, I can imagine. You ever want to talk to me, Chloe? You know you can, right? I'll see you later, Steph. Have fun storming the castle. Always? Um... <clears throat> Figures. Looks like my options are become a master lockpicker or swipe someone's keys. Bingo. If only those keys were unsupervised. What's Samuel working on? Uh, the sprinklers? If Samuel's working on the sprinklers, some damage here might get his attention. Uh. But Evan is right there. <coughs> uh. 
<clears throat> what are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be at home thinking over your endless list of questionable decisions? Dude, why do you care about my questionable decisions? It offends me when intelligence is wasted. <laughs> Did Evan just call me intelligent? <coughs> Damn straight. <coughs> wow. Evan looks really ridiculous. Hey, uh, Evan? As intelligent as you look right now, you can still see that bird from where I'm standing. I appreciate your concern, but I want to get this shot exactly right. And I've learned something about myself recently. I've learned that if I'm passionate about something, it's probably the right thing to care about. For example, I've been trying to get the students and administration interested in forest fire prevention. That is kind of an odd topic to focus on. People are so eager to pass on responsibility to anyone else so that they can live comfortable, unworried, and ultimately meaningless lives. You see what happened? <laughs> Evan, you're pretty stuck up. Did you know that? It's fine. The first sign of greatness is people disliking you. A anyway, you're not supposed to be here. You should leave. Mm -hmm. I think not. You shouldn't be on campus, Chloe. Ah. So tempting, but Evan will see me for sure. <laughs> and he sounds like he's... In Hey! Shit. I wanted you to go the other way. Like, as far as possible, the other way. <coughs> Scared again, then. Jeez. Haha. <laughs> Time for a fresh start. Gotta scare it the other way. How? Oh, we actually have to be on the on the. All right, I get time it. for a fresh start. <coughs> Here we go. Gotcha. Oh, perfect. You're welcome. Awesome. Now I just have to wait for Samuel to turn on the... <laughs> that works. Sorry, Samuel. All right, time to find Drew's <coughs> room. <coughs> yep, I'm on dope. No time like the present. Not that it isn't great to see you and all, but what are you doing here? Didn't you just get expelled? Relax. 
I'm just uh, visiting a friend. I, I can't. I really can't just let you go in. Come on, Skip. I break the rules, and you think it's awesome. Let me break this rule. For old time's sake. I want to, Chloe. But I really can't. I'm going inside, dude. You're just gonna have to let this slide. I don't think I can. In fact, I think I have to ask you to state your official business or else vacate Blackwell property. I hate to do this to Skip, but I've got to get inside. Maybe if I make him really uncomfortable, he'll feel guilty and let me pass. <coughs> What's my official business? Oh my goodness. I'm going to the bathroom. Is that what you wanted to hear? Is that interesting to you? What? No. No, it's my job to ask, Chloe. That's not cool, Skip. You realize that, right? Uh, he won. <sighs> Chloe, I just have this feeling like you're up to. S Wait. You talked me into letting you into the bathroom this morning, and then you tagged the entire friggin' place. What? No, I... I uh, uh, fuck it. I totally did that. <laughs> Wells raked me over the coals for that. Uh, time to go. Or what? What are you gonna do, Skip? Because unless you're prepared to drag me off this campus, I'm going inside. Chloe, enough. This is my job. Just go. You have never respected me. You and all your smug little classmates. I am so tired of being shit on by high schoolers. You know what? I'm done. I'm done with this stupid rent a cop job. <laughs> just, just do whatever the fuck you want, Chloe. Whoa, Skip. Matthew. I've gotten reports of an unknown vehicle in the parking lot. Uh, oh, 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 oh that, that's funny. Because I've, I've, got, I've gotten reports about how your head is, is really far up your ass. What, what did you just say? Damn. Matthew. Skip Matthew. really lost it there. Jeez. Time to find Drew's room. <coughs> All right, which one is Drew's room? Good. <sighs> Drew's not here. Okay. <laughs> if I were Drew, where would I hide my money? Hmm. The trunk. <sighs> Is the money in there? All right. Guess I have to crack a four digit code. All right, let's try 1120. 
Oh my goodness. Wait, what? Might actually need some help with this one. <laughs> Twelve twenty seven. One two two seven. <coughs> uh, worth a shot. Yes. Why? This is kind of fun. <coughs> oh. Did little Drew beat you up too? <sighs> Jackpot. I'm kind of good at this. Time to get okay. out of Dodge. Got the money. Called that. Hey, Mikey. Chloe? What are you doing here? <laughs> no reason. Just <laughs> roam in the halls. Girls aren't allowed in the boys' dorm. Bro, we gotta go. What are you doing here? Doesn't matter. Mikey, get your stuff. Let's move. Drew, relax. Slow down. What is happening right now? Shit. You're making me think you're nervous about something. Drew, what's going on? Don't worry about it. Stay in here and don't say anything, little brother. Whatever you do, don't open the door. You know what's going on? Damon, you shouldn't have come here. School's not the place for this. Really? Where is the place to collect my fucking money? Shit. I told you, I don't have it. Sales are down, man. Nobody wants to get high right now. But look, it's spring season. We just started two-a-days. Those are gonna kill us. I'll be able to sell all the oxy you've got. Drew, you owe me a grand. Where is it? I said I don't have it right now. I heard about your dad's job, by the way. Tough times. Yeah. Bet a grand would mean a lot to him right now. Where's my money? Drew. I don't know what you expect me to do. I can't just make money appear out of thin air. <coughs> the fucking money! You don't have to hit me, man. I'm good. Uh, Where is it? Uh, please, just give me one. Uh, You're just going to lie there. I thought football players were supposed to be tough. <coughs> Sorry to have to do uh, this, kid. No uh, one steals from me. Uh, no one. Fuck! Stop! It's okay. I, I, I've got your money. Ah, I didn't realize we had an audience. Hey, Mikey. Okay. Who the hell are you? Uh, Frank sent me to collect that's what frank was going on about wait are you the bitch who tuned up sheldon that guy at the mill S so what he'll recover anyway i'm here and i've got the money Frank was right about you. Let's see the cash. We need that! It's all here. Mikey, you need to help your big brother. 
Help him understand that I take this shit seriously. Come on. Mikey's got nothing to do with this, man. You help your brother understand that if he steals from me again, I'm coming back here and I'm going to break his knees. Thanks, kid. Tell Frank I owe him one. We needed that money. You just screwed us over. Are you crazy? That guy could have killed you. You don't know anything about this situation. It's none of your business. I was only here because Frank offered to pay me to pick up the money you owed. I didn't know it was this serious. Next time, I'd appreciate it if you just came and talked to me. The situation is complicated. And I don't know what we're gonna do. Uh, Mikey, uh, I gotta look at your arm. Uh, Just leave us alone. Uh, 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 we'll be okay. Actually gonna end that episode there guys thank you all for watching uh make sure to subscribe and know when that next video drops uh very interesting i wonder what's gonna happen because that was a big changing um moment decision um either stay with mikey or give them the money i give them the money because that's freaking insane why would i stay in there while he's pretty much getting killed anyways i'll see you guys in the next one make sure to subscribe like and bye